Good morning. If you could start making your way to seats here, it'd be great. Welcome. My name is John Nickens. I have the privilege to serve as president and CEO at Children's Hospital. And it's a great day at Audubon today. Wow, what a great event. Please give it up for these performers. Just a little tease of what you're going to see come this holiday season. My privilege is to announce the idea of an exciting holiday partnership and season ahead for us this year in New Orleans. And Children's is proud to partner with Iberia Bank, with the Audubon Nature Institute and WWL TV. Um, we think there's an incredible group here that has shown over the years some neat opportunities. If you look back at Audubon and Children's, we're proud of what we've done with Boo at the Zoo, most recently Mother's Day with Irma Thomas, just a list of events that are a tradition in the New Orleans area now. You know, when you think about the areas in which Children's Hospital partners, the zoo has a special meaning for us. I tell you, on the fourth and fifth floor of the hospital, you can glance over and there's an area where the giraffes gather. And Ron is generous to keep that nice and trimmed. And our patients can look out and see, paste, can see giraffes there. It's, it's iconic. It's incredible. It doesn't happen in many children's hospitals across the country. It has a healing nature to it. It's really a, a special opportunity for us. We appreciate the zoo and their partnership. As we announce this, this is going to be framed as light up the season. And for us, it's the Audubon Zoo Lights. You're going to hear more about it. It's going to be an exciting time. We're eager to get this kicked off and get started. It's my pleasure to bring up Mark Romig to uh, start our event. Thank you, Mark. Thanks, John. Thank you very much. I wore my Christmas tie to get everybody ready. I know everybody feels really cool today, right? All right. I am very, very happy to be here to um, help kick this off as it becomes another generational mainstay for the holiday season in New Orleans, which has become such a huge draw for not only visitors from around the world, but for our residents in the New Orleans area and along the, the regional Gulf Coast. Here we have two great neighbors demonstrating an unwavering dedication to serving our community, both Children's Hospital and the Audubon Nature Institute have done that, and it's in their mission. This is what they do each and every day. Deep roots in Louisiana that stretch back more than a half a century, and both organizations have contributed deeply to the tapestry that we know makes New Orleans a great place to live, work, and, of course, visit. Audubon Zoo Lights, presented by Children's Hospital. It'll welcome guests to light up the season through a magical, of course, family-friendly, Winter Wonderland beginning November 23rd through December 30th. Interesting that they're starting the weekend of Thanksgiving. And we'll have a lot of uh, visitors from that city just east of us called Atlanta. They'll be playing in the Superdome the night before. So we'll need something to cheer them up beginning that Friday the 23rd all the way through the end of the year. And it'll add such richness to what we call Christmas New Orleans style, but it's the holidays in the city that now attract millions of visitors and citizens alike. The electrifying new holiday tradition will feature life-sized, animal-themed light displays, neon winter trees, and nightly live entertainment. In addition to the stunning lights that you'll see, the zoo lights will be filled with all sorts of fun activities for our visitors of all ages. Visitors can drop by the craft tents. There'll be craft tents to enjoy where the kids can create special messages that will then be given to patients of Children's Hospital. What a great partnership. Or, of course, the holiday marketplace where visitors and citizens can peruse the local artisans in their great work. The holidays are a magical time in New Orleans, and the city has become a top holiday destination. It's usually listed as one of the top three or four cities in the United States to come explore the holidays. So this is just going to add a much deeper reason for people to come to the city. It's a wonderful addition to the roster of events as we meet the ever-growing demand for people to really come together as family members and friends and to enjoy the lights and sounds of our most beautiful city. 
This cannot be done without support of a great organization that has stepped up time and time again. Recently, I got to work with this organization with the tricentennial of the city of New Orleans. Uh, they made it possible uh, in many ways for us to experience our history over these last 300 years, most recently playing a key role with the first visit of a monarch to the city of New Orleans when the King and Queen of Spain visited in June. So with that, I'd like to bring up now from Iberia Bank, the New Orleans market president, Hunter Hill. Hunter. Good morning, everybody. Despite the, uh, the uh, awfully uh, holiday uh, feeling uh, vibrancy this morning and with all the, the, the great um, performers that we saw earlier and the caroling, uh, this heat uh, has got me to where I had to take my jacket off, so I apologize for that. But uh, really, congratulations on the, the field this morning. We're awfully excited uh, to be involved with this this year as the entertainment sponsor. Uh, with that, we're going to have the opportunity to provide 2,500 complimentary tickets uh, to the event to underserved students and their families. Uh, this investment will allow these families to experience this exciting inaugural production, which we're so excited about. Um, we are proud to continue our partnership with Audubon Nature Institute, along with Children's Hospital, WWL-TV, and the other partners who will make this uh, event a success for many years to come. So thank you. Good morning. I'm Todd Smith, and I'm president and general manager of WWL-TV and WUPL. And we're really excited about being a part of something that's going to become another storied event in the New Orleans landscape. Uh, one of the things we do and we pride ourselves on is our ability to tell stories. And our participation in Zoo Lights gives us that opportunity to help families craft their new stories moving forward. So we're really excited, and from the staff and the members at WWL-TV, I think you all are going to be very excited to see what's in store, and we're extremely excited to be a part of this Brand, brand new community event. Thank you. These have been the shortest speeches I've ever heard. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but um, Audubon is so fortunate. I'm Ron Foreman, President CEO of Audubon. And sometimes people ask why we're we so successful. And I have to tell you, without a doubt in my mind, it's about the city of New Orleans. Imagine the team we put together to make this happen. This is going to be the Super Bowl of Christmas. This is going to be the very best thing we can provide. We have a partnership with Children's Hospital, an incredible group of leaders coming together, making a difference in all these kids' lives. I mean, just think what they do on a day-by-day -day basis. They don't have to do the extra. They chose to make a difference in every kid's life. Every kid has a chance to go and boo at the zoo. That's probably the second or the third largest fundraiser Halloween party in the country. And we've been doing partnerships 30 years with Children's Hospital, great success. WWL TV, I can't tell you the tens of thousands of stories, don't always agree with all of them, but about 99% of them, they're promoting the city. And if you look at the iconic people, the Mike Earleys, the um, people, the Angela Hills, the Golden Robert Nets, they, they're historical. They're part of our partnership. Then you take Iberia Bank, Daryl Bird and his leadership, how they've stepped up and they become such a major player throughout the entire city. You want to know why Autumn is successful? It's our team. And we have so much to be excited about. It's about the kids, it's about animals, it's about celebrating New Orleans. Uh, it's going to be a great event. Let me, is Lindsay here? Did Lindsay leave? Where's Lindsay? Come on, Lindsay. Uh, we have um, Kaya, we need the kids to come up. Can the kids come up? All kids, any kid, in the, even in the shade, come on up. All the kids, come on up. Lindsay, come up. I want to see if, if, come on up. I want to see if Kaya wants to say, does Kaya want to say a few words? Kaya should want to say Let's a few words. Let's see if Kaya can come say a few words. <laughs> she has a lot to say. Come on, kid. Kaya, what do you think about this partnership with Children's Hospital? You guys want to help her out? What do you do? One more time. Let's She's try. speechless, Ron. She's speechless. She is so excited. One more time. Can, can you talk to Kia? 
Just Get try that one time. Laugh? One more time. <laughs> All right, well, that worked out perfectly. Uh, you're, uh, you're cut off the stage. Kids, y'all stay. We need a few kids to pull down the countdown for Christmas. Can y'all pull it down? One, two, three, down. 100 days counting. Each day we'll count down to 9998. Nine, we'll tell the events getting ready to take place. And guys, are we going to have fun at Christmas? Yes. Thank y'all very much. And again, thank you for the partnership. It's going to be a great event. Good job, guys. Good job. Good, give me a high five. Good job. Good job. Good job. Turn around. Turn around. Let me show what you do with it. Here you go.